Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In acoustics, acoustic attenuation is a measure of the energy loss of sound propagation through an acoustic transmission medium. Most media have viscosity and are therefore not ideal media. When sound propagates in such media, there is always thermal consumption of energy caused by viscosity. This effect can be quantified through the Stokes' law of sound attenuation. Sound attenuation may also be a result of heat conductivity in the media, as has been shown by G. Kirchhoff in 1868. The Stokes Kirchhoff attenuation formula takes into account both viscosity and thermal conductivity effects. For heterogeneous media, besides media viscosity, acoustic scattering is another main reason for removal of acoustic energy. Acoustic attenuation in a lossy medium plays an important role in many scientific researches and engineering fields, such as medical ultrasonography, vibration, and noise reduction. Power law frequency-dependent acoustic attenuation many experimental and field measurements show that the acoustic attenuation coefficient of a wide range of viscoelastic materials, such as soft tissue, polymers, Soil and porous rock can be expressed as the following power law with respect to frequency p, x plus delta x, equals p, x, e minus alpha, omega, delta x, alpha, omega, equals alpha, zero, omega, eta, where p is the pressure, x the position, delta x the wave propagation distance, omega the angular frequency, alpha, omega, the attenuation coefficient, and alpha, zero, and the frequency dependent exponent eta are real non-negative material parameters obtained. By fitting experimental data, the value of eta ranges from zero to four. Acoustic attenuation in water is frequency squared dependent, namely eta equals two. Acoustic attenuation in many metals and crystalline materials is frequency independent, namely eta equals one. In contrast, it is widely noted that the eta of viscoelastic materials is between zero and two. For example, the exponent eta of sediment, soil, and rock is about 1, and the exponent eta of most soft tissues is between 1 and 2. The classical dissipative acoustic wave propagation equations are confined to the frequency-independent and frequency-squared dependent attenuation, such as the damped wave equation and the approximate thermoviscous wave equation. In recent decades, increasing attention and efforts have been focused on developing accurate models to describe general power law frequency-dependent acoustic attenuation. Most of these recent frequency-dependent models are established via the analysis of the complex wave number and are then extended to transient wave propagation. The multiple relaxation model considers the power law viscosity underlying different molecular relaxation processes. Sabo proposed a time convolution integral dissipative acoustic wave equation. On the other hand, acoustic wave equations based on fractional derivative viscoelastic models are applied to describe the power law frequency dependent acoustic attenuation. Chun and Holm proposed the positive fractional derivative modified Sabo's wave equation and the fractional Laplacian wave equation. See for a paper which compares fractional wave equations with model power law attenuation. This book on power law attenuation also covers the topic in more detail. The phenomenon of attenuation. Obeying a frequency power law may be described using a causal wave equation, derived from a fractional constitutive equation between stress and strain. This wave equation incorporates fractional time derivatives. Nabla 2u minus 1c0 2 del 2u del t2 plus tau sigma alpha del alpha del t alpha nabla. 2u minus tau epsilon beta c0 2 del beta plus 2u del t beta plus 2 equals 0.